हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज डॉक्टर अमरप्रीत कौर अ लेक्चर फ्रॉम जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस प्रोडक्टिविटी Productivity is the rate of biomass production, and what is biomass? Biomass is the quantity or weight of organisms in a particular area. Okay. Productivity is of two types. One is a primary productivity, and another is the secondary productivity. Let's discuss primary productivity first. it is a rate at which biomass or organic matter is produced by producers during photosynthesis per unit area over a period of time clear what it mean it means that biomass for example uh, we have a apple garden and uh, uh, the area over there is like 1 square kilometer in length it is 1 kilometer and in breadth it is 1 kilometer so the biomass will be the amount of trees okay the weight of trees including apples and we will also consider the area and time is it clear to you or in another way you can say it is a rate at which sunlight is captured by producers okay during the process of photosynthesis it means one and the same thing and it is uh, expressed in two ways either in the weight form or energy form when you will consider weight it will be expressed as gm that means gram per meter square per year and if you will express it primary productivity in the form of energy you will mention it in the in the way kilo calorie per meter square per year clear further this primary productivity can be divided into two groups one is the gross primary pro productivity and another is the net primary productivity gross primary productivity are in abbreviated form you can mention it gpp gpp or gross primary productivity it is the rate of production or synthesis of organic matter by producers during photosynthesis per unit time and area it is the same as primary productivity but it is a type of primary productivity students one thing is very important to understand when we discuss about biomass you must understand that a large amount of energy or biomass that are inter uh, convertible okay is utilized during respiration understood so in when we discuss gross primary productivity there is no concept of respiration but in net primary productivity okay now i will say uh you can uh, uh, write in abbreviated form that is npp it is gross primary productivity minus respiratory losses clear because in respiration a lot of energy is consumed so net primary productivity will be the gross primary productivity minus respiration secondary productivity secondary productivity is the rate of formation of new organic matter but at a secondary level that means by consumers in primary productivity producers were the main organism that were producing the organic matter but here consumers are responsible for secondary productivity clear next is community productivity and what it is it is the same like the formation of new organic matter but by a community clear there are certain terms which are associated with productivity one will be the ecological efficiency or tropic level efficiency next is photosynthetic efficiency 
and third is net production efficiency these are very important and i will discuss all of them and uh, these three are in the form of a uh, formula okay you have to remember the formula firstly ecological efficiency the formula for it is energy converted into biomass at a tropic level divided by energy present in a biomass at lower tropic level into 100 again i will say energy converted into biomass at a tropic level divided by energy present in a biomass at lower tropic level multiply by 100 in numerator you will write uh, the biomass of a tropic level maybe but it will be the higher tropic level but in denominator there is always a lower tropic level clear next is the photosynthetic efficiency the formula for it is the gross primary productivity divided by incident total solar radiations multiply by 100 clear firstly in numerator you will write gross primary productivity divided by the solar total solar radiations multiply by 100 and when you will put the values into the formula you will get photosynthetic efficiency of an area last one is the net product production efficiency it is the net primary productivity divided by gross primary productivity multiply by 100 once more i will tell you net production efficiency it in numerator you will write net primary productivity divided by gross primary productivity into 100 thank you students for listening to this lecture in case you have any doubt you can visit my website and comment over there or put your question over there that is www.amarpreetkaur.com